Hello everyone, my name is Bottletop Hornet, and welcome back to another episode of Vault Hunters. <laughs> we had some wonderful success in the last episode, and we have three skill points available to us, which is amazing. So, to start things off, we're actually going to have a look at our skill tree. I'm kind of tempted to upgrade this to level 3. It's going to give us even more dash power and cut the... Uh, Cool down again, but I'm very, very tempted to also wait for Elvish. So if we went through and we managed to get two more skill points, I could get the Elvish first, get the large price out of the way, since we're still managing all right and we could do it in the early days, and then as things get harder, we don't have to worry about taking fall damage, and we can continue to use the skill points for other things like buffs and all of that jazz. So I think we're going to save it, and in this episode... We're going to try and take on, I think, five volts. I want to take on five. I want to get some good progress. I want to get some good loot. And so we're going to start off by getting all of this sorted. So first, do I have... I do. <laughs> I have one of those. Perfect. We've got a little bit of white wool. And do we have... Oh, something weird is happening with my, uh, my right click for some reason. But that's okay. We're going to grab some shears. Get a little bit more wool from our friends over here. Oh, the timing on that was absolutely perfect. <laughs> and the charcoal is fairly easy to come by. So we're going to throw in the sugar cane that we have, the wool that we have, and hopefully this is working away. It's very slow. <laughs> but I'm going to go through. I'm going to make up a bunch of those, get them all prepared first, and then we'll jump in and I think we'll montage up a bunch of looting, a bunch of going through the vaults. And I want to set up a big section and work out how much loot I get from all of it before showing you guys. So I want to like build up all my cookies. I want to get all of the items in say some chests out here. And then we can come back in afterwards and have a nice look at all of the loot. So let's get some crystals sorted and we'll go from there. So I think that is where we stop. I don't have any cactus to put on some sand and grow. So we're going to have to probably go out and find a desert at some point. Yeah, I don't think I do. No, that's okay. We can wait on that one. But I managed to get seven, <laughs> seven crystals. Now we're actually going to put them away somewhere. I don't want them to, uh, to get lost. So we're going to keep one and I'm going to set myself up to go in now. Slightly inspired by Iskel, I'm going to go through five different vaults, hopefully, <laughs> and I will just quickly montage up each one. We'll touch base whether I've made it out or not in one piece at the end of each one. And then after doing all five, we're going to see how much loot we had and hopefully level up an absolute bunch. If I level up twice in the process of that, I'll let you guys know if I decide to take Elvish as a skill. But other than that, let's get into it. I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you in between each and every one. Yeah. Oh, and I think what we might do for these is... Uh, yeah, we're going to give ourselves a little bit more defense. Okay, now we can get into the vaults. Thank you. 
Well, that was one very successful run. I'm not going to show you all the spoils. You might have got a little glance at some of them, but I'm going to set up some chests, put it all away, and go again. All right. Round two. Well, 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 that was a boss kill <laughs> and a very successful vault. Once again, I'm not going to show you guys what I got, but we're going to organize everything a little bit. And we're going back in. So vault number three, let's go. Oh, and since this is a pretty edit heavy episode, let's just rapid fire our way through three and four. It's a good way for me to test out my editing skills. Let's go. Ooh, that one was a bit scary. They were a bit tough, but we played it safe and we got out safely. And now we're level eight, which means I can grab Elvin or Elvish. So we're grabbing that. That means we can no longer take full damage, which is going to be super convenient as far as that goes. And it also means that I can put away my water bucket. Once again, that's vault number three. Let's try... Vault number four. Oh yeah, that is four in a row. Four amazing successes. I was really hoping to get some obelisks in that one and take on the boss because we had healing, but I didn't find one. But we got some decent loot. We're going to hopefully keep up our good run and go for number five. Let's do it. And for number five, I kind of just want to skip over to the end. We got pretty good luck with the modifiers. But here I was towards the end and I realized I had like two minutes to go. I had two out of three obelisks, but I was down inside of a stronghold and I was trying so hard to get out of there, getting distracted by all of the mobs. And I started to realize too late that uh, I was out of time. The desire to loot just kept me in there for far too long. It was an absolute mistake. So here I am, I'm... I'm realizing I have next to no time. 
getting caught by zombies, trying to get out of there. I believe that I had a obelisk above me out here. So out I get. I need to prepare. I realize I'm not going to make it back, so I have to take on the boss. But I've got mobs everywhere, and I can't take the time to heal up and get my stuff sorted. I'm running out of time. Just here it is. I'll let you watch. <laughs> I didn't, I couldn't even look at the time. I think I had a second left. <sighs> My heart is beating so fast right now, but we did it. <sighs> I can't believe that. I've never taken on that boss before. <sighs> we did it. We actually did it. I'm gonna put away a couple of things. Oh my goodness. Whew. Okay, let's have a look at all of the loot that we got. First of all, I'm gonna put this away. I've been putting all of the bottle of enchantings away in there, and I'm just gonna temporarily put that away too. That is two bosses beaten. That's not really a great boss crate, but the boss crate itself is worth a lot. I got a lot of loot. Let's start sorting it. Okay, wait, there's a few more things. <laughs> All right, so one, a few more things there too. So we have now three boss crates. I'm just going to uh, put those aside here and put a couple of these things in. I've been trying to get rid of all of the diamonds and gold and stuff, so that's not going to be counted in this, but we will just put that nicely there. We have a bunch of stuff over here, and I haven't actually checked them yet, so we're going to go through them. Vault bronze for honeycomb. <laughs> we have heaps of honeycomb, that's amazing. Pixie apple, vault pearl, legendary treasure. Interesting. Another legendary treasure. Candy bar, cobalt apple, Laramar gem, that's great. A shield. Very good. And a common backpack. Interesting. Terracotta, rocky dirt, white wool, rebar, concrete, andesite, and smooth stone, Midori rock, and white concrete powder. Not bad. From there, I put all of the uh, block types, compressed and also ores, in here. So let me put everything that's compressed at the bottom, along with a couple of these goodies here. And then, if we have a look at our ores... Oh, I managed to get some cactus too while I was in there, just so that we can use it for the next uh, <laughs> next one of these. Oh, I should sleep. So, all in all, we got 28 Beniatite, 26 Laramar, 22 Ancient Debris, some Gorgonite, Wootadite, Black Opal, Iskalium, Pyonite, Alexandrite, Ashium, and some basic ores that we don't really care about too much. And then if we look in here, we have 41 Vault cookies. We have, uh, what's that? 84, 93 relic booster packs, 56 mystery boxes, and a bunch of other stuff. 21 Laramar, enough star essence to make ourselves a knowledge star, enough vault diamonds to get started on our next one. Wither skeleton, stuff, netherite, stuff, 
a nether star, a very rare gem, I think that is, Puffium, and all sorts of buff items, plus a bunch of really nice enchanted goods. Really, really good run. We can also remove a talent from Frenzy. Interesting. So, I think now, oh, this is the part that I've been waiting for. We are level 9. We're going to start by doing our Relic Booster Packs. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> okay. Mystery Boxes. I'm going to grab one of these to uh, put all of this in. Nothing really special. Nice enchanted axe. The best things out of that is probably the burger pieces, and that's about it, honestly. We'll take the jade apples as well. Okay, now, ooh, let's put that away and make it nice and clean. 41. 41. <sighs> 41 cookies. Let's go. Come on, come on. Ah, oh, we nearly got to 16. So now we have seven, seven points and we can get this vein miner uh, extra bit, this finesse. When we're at level two, which we are now, there's a 30% chance that it avoids using durability on the tool. So that's kind of good. What else have we got the options for here? We could go full water breathing, and fire resistance. That would give us immunity to lava and fire damage. That's pretty good. At the same time, we could get ourselves a couple of extra hearts, get a little bit more XP, or even learn step that allows us to walk straight up full blocks. That is not a bad idea. Hmm. Or we go over here and we start taking some more in these. We could take one more in vein miner to get it up to 16 for the cost of one. And we could take this up to Possibly level four. That would only cost us three, and we'd have four remaining, for which we could get all four of the extra hearts. Hmm, interesting. I think I'm going to do that. We're going to upgrade that and take the specialization, so we have a 40% chance of not using any durability. Amazing. I'm going to take two of those, and I didn't realize that it does cost a little bit extra, but that's okay. So we're going to take three levels in this, or... Melon and pumpkin. Hmm. I'm going to get two extra hearts. And I think I'm actually going to take Twerker. So that I can get melons and pumpkins going and trade for bits and pieces. Because I do plan on starting a villager trading hall soon. And I want to get as many emeralds as possible. But look at us. Two extra hearts. Level 15. A really nice height from our uh, dash now. And recharges incredibly quickly. And also because we have Elvish, I never have to worry about fall damage again. We probably have enough netherite after all of this to upgrade our tools. So I think I'll definitely go through and do some stuff like that. But now I think it's time to get our first knowledge star. So if we pop over in here, we can grab all of that. Is there anything else there that we want? Probably the, uh, the vault bronze and everything too. Using this... We can craft up as many of these as possible. And with our core, we have our first knowledge star. Oh yeah. But I can also create that. And I could nearly buy that potentially. Let's have a look. I do have two gold. We might fill that up with the other ones and see what we would prefer to take first. Put all of these in here. All right, let's have a look see. I wouldn't mind getting two of those. That would be pretty cool. Can be used several times to teleport the player in the throne direction. Interesting. A shield could be very nice. And we can get some Vault Bronze for our, our honeycomb. Cool. Nice, an extra 15, not too bad. All right, the biggest limiting factor here is the fact that I don't have enough star shards. And with all of this, I still didn't quite get enough. So I'm not sure whether we can quite make another knowledge star just yet. But rather than spending the money on that just now, 
we could, three, four of those, put that in the middle, and we'll just make an extra one. That way all we need is another three of those, which is 20 more star essence, not too hard to get. I've obviously got a lot of work to do if I want to, uh, if I want to start putting all of this a little bit more organized, but we'll get there. Let's have a look at mods. Now mods require a cost. I could unlock pretty pipes, couldn't unlock drawers, but I could unlock more chests as well. But if you see here, it adds a plus two, plus one, plus one to all of these. And that ups the price of the rest of the items in that particular like mod page. The thing is, if you start by taking some furniture mods, some decoration mods, furniture, fairy lights, etc., that's going to lower the cost of everything else. So I think it is the obvious choice, but we're going to take furniture. That is our first mod. It lowers the cost of drawers down to one, which is great. Waystones, I want to get at some point too. And I also want danks. So we might have to purchase a few extra things first. We're well on our way to our next uh, knowledge star. And I could buy another one. So I should be really searching for the star essence. That is my main goal at the moment. But with that, everyone, I think we're going to call it here. I'm going to leave some of these goodies for a later date and save things like the shield, which could be good to take in. But these treasures, I think I will, uh, I will save and that as well. We'll just be a little bit frugal on that end. But now we have so much stuff that I'm going to have to start expanding as well as potentially looking for a new base location. This will still be used for a little while to expand and add a few other things. But once we start unlocking some of the mods and some of the storage mods, I'm going to want to set up a much bigger storage room and a much bigger location with bigger farms, bigger everything. So with that, I think I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I hope that I've done a decent job at editing up all of those uh, vault runs and making it entertaining to watch. And I hope you guys enjoyed it a lot. If you did, please do me a favor and leave a like. I'm working really, really hard on these to uh, make some great content for you guys, and I hope you enjoyed. We had a lot of success today. I'm so proud of myself, and I'm really, really excited to see uh, what I can do with some of these goodies. We got a lot, a lot, a lot of really good stuff. Compressed obsidian is pretty cool. Ooh, Tupium and Upaline. I didn't notice those there. And now we have three boss crates to take in with us. We're really starting to uh, kick into gear. We've got up to level 15. And once we hit level 25, things will start to get interesting. So until the next episode, I hope you guys take care of yourself and I'll see you then. Bye bye, everyone. <laughs> oh boy, we absolutely killed it this episode. Yeah.